In this short Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter numbers into Excel as if they were text. And we'll look at some of the other features and options that are available related to this tip. So here I am in an Excel spreadsheet and notice what happens when I click on a cell and type in a number. Let's say the number seven. I tap enter. Notice that Excel put the number seven to the right side of this cell. Now I want you to watch as I enter some text into cell D2. I'm just going to type in a glorious kind of music, tap enter, and to help you see this a little bit better, I'm going to click and drag between columns D and E to stretch out column D. Take a look at the word synth pop. Because it is text, Excel is aligning it to the left side of cell D2. And if I tap enter on the keyboard, I can give you some more examples. 859, I tap enter. Excel sees that as a number, and so it's putting it to the right. And let's try some text. Tap enter. It's put to the left. Now there are situations in which we don't want Excel to do this, where we may want numbers not to show up as numbers, but text. Let me give you an example. Let's say I want to put 711 in column F1. 711 is a convenience store. If I type in 711, tap enter, notice that Excel treats it as if it were a number, and in fact, it converts it into a date number format. Well, I don't want that. I want it to show up as text, because in this case, 711 really is text. It's the name of something. It's not really a number. So the trick is, you would just click on or in one of the cells in Microsoft Excel and type the apostrophe key. And then proceed to type your number, tap enter on the keyboard. Because of that apostrophe symbol, Excel treated these numbers not as numbers, but as text. Let's try it up here. I'm just going to add an apostrophe in front of the 7, tap enter. And now Excel sees it as being text, not numbers. What about 859, apostrophe, enter. Now that number is seen by Excel as being text. Now you'll notice in some cases this little green triangle in the corner of the number that is now treated as text. If I click on that, there's a little exclamation point and I can click on that to see some options that I have. As you can see, Excel admits that this is a number stored as text. Well, if I regret that, I could just click here to convert back to a number. I'm going to undo that by holding Control and tapping Z on the keyboard, and I'll click back here on the exclamation point. In addition to converting to number, I could get some help on what's considered to be an error in this case, and I could learn more about this situation. I'll X out of that. My other options are to simply ignore it, because in this case, it's not really an error. I was trying to do this. Besides ignoring, we can also edit in the formula bar. So if I click that, it just moves my cursor up here to the formula bar and I can continue to type and then tap enter when I'm done. The last option I have, because this number is stored as text, is down here, error checking options. I can click there and it lets me adjust or change the options for error checking. In most cases, you'll want to just simply type in numbers as numbers, text as text, but there really are situations in which you don't want numbers to be seen as numbers, but rather as text. And in those cases, put in the apostrophe before your number, tap enter, and it will be treated as text. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. And you could also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting the channel at the $5 level. We have a couple of new $5 Patreon supporters. I really appreciate you. And of course, all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you. Thank you.